All right, what's going on YouTube? We're about to install the 5.3 head on this one. I have the tools here. Remember, problem was this lifter was collapsed. I have the new ones in here, brand new. Some of the parts are here ready. Head bolts, I'm getting ready right now. Have the head gasket. You guys know me. If you have the multi-layer gasket, I spray some copper spray on it. This is the real deal. I'm gonna leave the tools in here. Gonna get the head bolts ready. First step, you're gonna clean cylinder walls. You're gonna clean the the block. And first of all, always on any car, you see each hole. This this hole. This is the head uh, where the head bolt that holds the head into the block goes. You have to blow some air because watch. It's gonna, always gonna be water. Watch. You see that? You have to get that out. If not, you're gonna break the block. You're gonna break the bolts, or you're gonna strip something. Or it's gonna give you false values on your tor torque specs. So always blow the water out only on the head bolt holes on each little hole so make sure you do that so I'm good to go so next step I'm gonna clean up the cylinders I'm gonna drop in the head gasket the head bolted down torque spec is gonna be 22 pounds 90 degrees and 70 degrees so let me go ahead and clean install the head gasket drop in the head and torque it down all right now that we have that clean we're gonna install the lifters on the holders before you install any lifter, leave it hot, soaking on engine oil for 10, 15, 30 minutes. Leave it soaking on oil and install it and put it, on, put it back in. Now let me show you on the holders. You see how they're different? This one is bigger, this one is there. The bigger one, that's where the big springs goes. And you have to pay attention because you see the little notch in there? That little notch is what stops the lifter, which is this one right here. See that one there? See this one is flat? So install these ones on the little notch in here, right there. So the group and that one there. And bam. That one is in. Now watch. See how it won't move? It locks it. Next one. Group on the little notch in there. Align it. Boom. Nice and easy. Now the other ones use the regular ones. It don't matter which way it goes. So you can put it this way, that way. This is flat and flat. And it lacks. There you go. Next one. Boom. Good. So we have one ready. We're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Install those with a little eight millimeter bolt. Then the head gasket. And now we can install the head. Let me go ahead and assemble this one, drop it in there, and bolt it down. Okay, the lifter I installed. All I had to do, tie down those 10, 10 millimeter with the 10 millimeter socket, so it can hold, tie down the holder. There's no way you can miss, because the, the holder has a notch, and the block has a notch, so it only will go one way, like a puzzle. So let me tie those down, drop in the, the, new, the gasket, Got the head bolts right here. If they're new, add a little oil into the threads. I'm using the same ones. You can reuse it, don't worry about it. But it's, uh, obviously, it's, uh, it's better if you replace the new ones. These ones were new. The engine was re previously rebuilt by someone, but the lifter failed. That's why I'm reusing the same head bolts. So let me go ahead and tie those down. Gasket, head, and torque it down.
the head gasket is only one way you see how there's no hole in there and there's a hole in there look at the block you see right in the back on the edge over there is plug and see this hole right here is open this one right there the water is open the one in the back is closed so it's only one way so there is no miss gasket is in now time for the head okay the head is in all I'm doing right now put them down all the head bolts the head bolts is not like the regular LS all these head bolts are the same it's gonna be the ones in the middle and the ones on the side under the exhaust so this is what I'm doing I'm just going all the way down there next one All you need is a 15 millimeter socket so once I go all the way down I'm gonna go with the torque it's gonna be 22 pounds 90 degrees and 70 degrees pounds we're gonna go 15 millimeter and we also need a little extension which is one of these two so now how we're gonna tie it is gonna be in cross pattern middle out out like an X 22 90 degrees and 70 degrees Twenty two are done all the way even. So now we're gonna give it a degrees. We're gonna have to let it settle in here. Put them in there nice and even. So it can oh there you go. Sixty. degrees so what this one does you torque it down and then it's gonna give you the numbers in there um, you seen some couple of bolts I went a little bit over 22 pounds I'm gonna go on 80 degrees so now what let me show you put them there you see how it's one degree That's 50 degrees. That's 81 degrees. I see how it turns green. So that's how 81 degrees. And green light. So that's how I'm gonna go on every single bolt. Let me go ahead and get it done. Okay, I end up getting in them 85. All done. So last step, 70 degrees. So we're gonna go down to 70. There. Same process. Here, 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 here. Cross pattern. Like a cross, you start in the middle, here. Like a cross. Well, making your way out. From the middle, making your way out. Okay, now a quick pointer. This is what I'm using. A reduction from a 3 8 to half inch. This little extension, size of my next finger next to the middle one. And this longer. Because for the last bolt, all the way in the back, that one in there, next behind the spark plug, that one, is not gonna fit. It won't fit with that extension. So it only goes like that, only those two. For the other ones, you will need a medium one and this one. But for the back one all the way then, is that. Okay, the head, the head bolts are torqued down. At this point, don't forget to connect this ground, this ground right here. This one goes right behind the head. So connect that one right there. It's 
gonna be this bolt that is 13 millimeter right in the back of the head back of the uh, transmission tube for the dipstick so once we have that we can now install the bottom the push rods rock ramps valve cover exhaust and then the intake and of course the fuel injection lines or system which is the injectors right there we're getting close okay the ground behind the head is installed now the push rods these are the same length and this is not like the LS you have to put the the long holder underneath because this one is already shaped into the head so sliding the push rods on the hold, holds right here I don't know if you can see it right there those are the holes right there all those holes right there wrap it in and boom drop it in there all the boom install the rocker arms and you tie it down and you're good to go give it like 18 to 20 pounds of torque if not just go by hand once you get it tight get them a half turn okay now the rocker arms the socket you're gonna need to tie it down is the eight millimeter you're just gonna put them in here make sure that aligns into here boom boom and tie it all the way down you don't have to calibrate or anything just tie it all the way down just make sure this one is gonna assemble in there in here with that bad boy right there with the push rod so make sure it's gonna assemble there I just give them uh, just tie it get them tight all the way down and it, it doesn't need to be calibrated or anything Once it's tied all the way down, you're gonna go by hand on the ratchet and get them tied one by one. You can either torque it to 15 to 20 pounds or you just go by hand. It's all the way down, it's giving it a half turn. Okay, push rods, rock arms, everything is installed. At this point, we're good to go and install the valve cover. But before you install anything, make sure you don't have dirt, debris, or any tool inside. Same on the intake runners, intake holes, make sure it's not trash. Sockets, bolts, anything in there. If you're good to go, install the ball cover. And then the ball cover, we're gonna install the exhaust uh, header. That guy right there. Quick tip, before you install the exhaust, make sure you have this little donut. Right in the exhaust. See the groove on the exhaust? This one goes in there. So make sure you put this one in there first. If not, you're gonna have exhaust leak. The exhaust is there for now. If you have a uh, original gaskets, it's gonna say GM exhaust manifold size down, side down. There you go. So it's gonna go like this. Okay, exercise is fully in. Take your time. Tie down the bolts by hand and then do it with impact, ratchet, hand, whatever you can. Even with the nalgas if you want. Do it right. So now I just have to go under, under and then tie down the three knots on the bottom. 16 or 15 millimeter socket. So now that it's in, I'm gonna leave that for the end. I'm gonna install the valve cover and I'm gonna install the fuel injector for the right side, passenger side. Tie those down with the, uh, what was it, 17 or 11 sixteens. And it'll be ready for the intake. All right, here we have this bad boy. Coils are installed. What we need is a 10 millimeter socket. 
it takes 10 bolts install it everybody has the new gasket in we can go ahead and install it install that put the 10 bolts and we're ready to work and roll our injectors is already installed as you guys remember fuel rail came out now we have to tie these bad boys nice and easy that's all it takes so make sure there's a little ball joint right there it's hooked into the rail and tie this one and then tie it down same in the back don't forget the plugs three plugs the one for the fuel rail the one for the high pressure pump on the one in the bottom once we have that done uh, these bolts are 13 millimeter it's 10 millimeter right here tie those down and then tight lead lines and we're ready to drop in the intake all right fuel lines are on everything's tight tight plugs in the back are connected so now from here, install the intake with the new gasket, which is a little O-rings right there. Once you start the intake, well first it goes the sponge thing, isolator, goes on top, intake, then alternator, two bolts, put the belt, belt and hook everything, whatever plugs and whatever that is, plug and play. If I don't continue the video, I'll stop right here, but everybody knows that's just common sense. That's the easiest thing to install the intake and the rest. Thanks for watching. What's going on? A little update. Sorry I couldn't um, film, you know, installing the intake. Because, uh, like I said, it was just straight up tie the bolt, uh, connect every plug you unplug for the coils, the sensors in the front put the air mass of full meter whatever little things so anyways I have the head installed so the lifters I just got it running for well, like uh, five minutes ago since it's already running let me try to don't move it so you can see it's not shaking it's nothing you don't hear any lifter so far so good it sounds good so yeah, I have the engine running already. With so little tools, anybody can get it done. All you need is a 15 millimeter socket, medium socket for the exhaust manifold on the bottom, a 12 or 13 millimeter socket, a 8 millimeter, a 10 millimeter socket. Impact if you have impact if you don't have any is uh, you're gonna need a ratchet a 13 millimeter and a 12 millimeter open box wrench with the closed one so you can remove the, the ground on the back 11 16 uh, 17 millimeters to remove the fuel lines that's pretty much that's the only tools you need again Thanks for watching, and if anyone likes the the videos, uh, the way you can support me, the one you know you can show me some, leave a little like, uh, leave comments if you think my videos are worth it. Uh, you know you can share it if you like. This is a dashboard, a 600 RPM. We have a good battery voltage. Temperature is what well, I 170 I think 180. We have full gas. Uh, oil pressure is uh 40 psi I believe I can't really see it. But yeah. I hooked up the scanner. Make sure there's no codes on anything. Check misfires or whatever. Everything seems good. But yeah. That's all it took. Again, thank you for watching. See you on the next video.